This video is part of our course on modern C++ which goes from the absolute beginning all the way to a point where you can use advanced features of the C++ programming language. We even cover the four big features in C++20 and that is concepts, ranges, coroutines, and modules and we have a bunch of exercises to really help you nail this down. Please do check this course out if you are interested in this and you can also check out what others are saying about the course here. The link is going to be shared in the description below. In this lecture, we're going to see how we can print integers in binary and see them very clearly on the console. And uh, this is the code we're going to be using. It's really simple and short. What we want is to be able to print things and see them in binary format. We have seen ways we can tell STD out to print data in decimal, hexadecimal, or octal, but we don't really have a built-in way to do this in binary format. You can control what kind of literal you put in your data as you initialize it. You can do this in hex, decimal, oct, or even binary like we are doing this here. But when we get to print, STDC out falls short on how we can do this in binary, and we need a way to do that. So we're going to introduce a new type. It's a built-in type from the C++ standard library. It's called bitset. And uh, before you use it, you have to include its library and you do it like this, pound include and put bitset in this angle brackets. And after you do that, you can print your data in binary using something like this, std bitset angle brackets, and you put your thing in parentheses like this. So one thing you need to give this thing is to give it the number of bits you think you have in your type. For example, here we have a short ant and it is 16 bits on my system here. So I am going to tell it how many bits I have and I am going to pass this thing in. And when I print, I am going to see this piece of data in binary. Let's head to Visual Studio Code and see how this works. Okay, here we are in our working folder. The current project is printing integers in binary. We're going to grab our template files and we're going to put them in place. And we are going to open this up in Visual Studio Code. We're going to open up our main file and we're going to remove things we don't need. The first thing we're going to do is uh, to define our variable. We're going to say unsigned int. Let's do short int so that we have 16 bits. And it's going to be int and we're going to say data and we're going to put in whatever data we want. We have the option to do this in decimal or octal or binary or hex. We can really use any of these number systems. And uh, C++ is very flexible in how you can initialize your data. So let's do this in uh, decimal, why not? And once we do this, we can print this in decimal. So let's do stdc out data. Let's say that it's in decimal and uh, we're going to use a manipulator to make sure we print this in decimal on stdc out. We have seen how we could do that in an earlier chapter. So we're going to say std deck and uh, we're going to print our thing. We're going to say data std and yeah, we can also show this in octal if we want. So we can say stdc out data oct, and uh, we're going to say std oct. I think we have this, yes, we do. And we're going to print this in uh, octal format. We can also do this in hexadecimal. So let's do this data, and we're going to show this in hex, and we're going to do std hex, and we're going to print this out. We can uh, bring up our terminal. Let's bring it up and uh, we can build with GCC. The build is going to go through. If we run this application, we're going to see our data. So in decimal, it is 15. It is what we put in here. In octal, it is 17. In uh, hexadecimal, it is F because F is 15 in hexadecimal. We can also tell STDC out to show the base. And the way we do that, we can do std show base. And if we do that, we're going to show the base. Let's do that for all these things here. And we can do that on hex here. So we're going to do std show base. And one thing you can do in Visual Studio Code, I actually learned about this yesterday. You can click on this file icon here to have some breathing room so that you can see the entire thing. If you want to bring your tab back, you can click again 
So once we have this, we can uh, build like we usually do. We're going to build with GCC. If we run Rooster, we're going to see that now we see the prefixes that show what base we are printing this in. And this may be handy, but we still want to print in binary. But C++ doesn't really give you a way to print with STDC out and put your data in binary. One tool we can use to do that is bitset. We have seen that in the slide. So we're going to include that. We're going to include bitset and we're going to print this out. So we're going to say std c out data in binary. Let's say bin. This is enough, I guess. And uh, let's bring this back so that it is aligned nice and neat. And we're going to say std show base. Show base, we don't need that. We just need to say std bit set. We need to tell it how many bits we have in our integer type here, data. So we have 16 bits because this is an unsigned short end. Once we do that, we're going to give it our data that we want printed in binary. And we're going to put our new line character, ENDL. And we're going to build. We're going to build with GCC. Once we run Rooster, we're going to see that our data is going to show up here. And this is what we expect. It is 16 bits, so it's going to show all the 16 bits because you told it that your type is 16 bits. But the most important thing is that we can see our data. If you really want to use hex, you can use that. But in this chapter, it is going to be really important to be able to see things in binary. And we're going to be using STD bit set just like this for this piece of work. Again, this is just one small thing STD bit set can do. It can do much more, but we don't really have enough tools to be able to take full advantage of it. But this piece of information here is going to allow us to print our data in binary to really understand what we are doing in this chapter. This is all we set out to do in this lecture. I hope you found it interesting. We're going to stop here in this lecture. In the next one, we're going to learn about shift operators. Go ahead and finish up here and meet me there.